Hi friends, so today I am sitting down to show you a quick and easy hair tutorial on how I get my hair styled this way. It is so easy, you won't believe it. So I am totally not taking credit for this. This is a trick that I learned through Jen, the sister studio on Instagram. And I was like, when I saw it, I was like, mm, I don't know if that'll work for my hair. And ever since I learned this trick, it's all I've been doing. So I'm going to take you through on a day when my hair starts out wet, and I'm gonna go all the way to this. So first, I wanna tell you a little bit my, about my hair. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of hair. I have a long bob styled cut. It is very blunt, very straight across. I have no layers in throughout it. The only thing I have is a little bit of thinning throughout the back and a little bit of texture at the ends, but no layers whatsoever. That being said, I'm gonna start by showing you the products I use when my hair is wet. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, show you how I do all that, and then I'm gonna show you how I curl it using two easy items. I use a straightener and a one-inch curling iron. You can use any type you want. These are just the two I have. You don't have to use this. This whole trick can be done with just this, but I find I get the best results by using that as well. So I'm gonna jump right in and show you how I'm doing it. All right, so first things first, typically I do this before I do my makeup, but because I was doing a video, I did it this way. So I start out, my hair's wet. I've not run a brush through it. I just got out of the shower. The first thing I take is the Junior Detangler. Sorry, why is that? It's kind of like bright. I think it's the lighting. And of course the trash men are coming by. I don't need much of this just kind of where I get tangled up a little bit. Okay, and so I spray that on, and then I go through with the Reshape Root Lifter, and I put this kind of at the base of all my roots, and then I kind of put it where my part, my parts, plural, are, because I have multiple parts, and I apologize for the trash people. And then I put a little bit back at the crown kind of right in through here. All right, then the next thing I do is I take a uh, wet brush and just go through. That detangler is like godsend. I've used their leave-in conditioner, but it weighs my hair down because I have fine hair. I have a lot of it and it is naturally straight, except for, I've got an area about this big right in the back at the crown of my head that gets wavy ever since I had MJ. So, go through and do that. Then the last step I do before I blow dry it, really, well, two more steps, I guess, when it's wet, this is usually what I do before I start getting ready, is the thickening spray. So I go through kinda in those same areas, but I go more, not as much at the root, more just down a little bit. And you don't need much of this. It's just like little sprays. Whew, got it in my eyes. Then do the same thing on the other side. This is why I typically do this when my hair is, I mean, when I have no makeup on or anything like that. I do this right out of the shower is what I usually do. Then I put just a little bit in through the back. All right, and now typically is when at this point <laughs> I go and just kind of let my hair sit while I do my makeup and things like that. So actually, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna not do my makeup, but I'm gonna like go eat something and I'll be right back. All right, so the next step, I just kind of let it sit for a little bit. Usually I do a little bit longer, is I use the Monate Blowout Cream. And that's how much I use. It's actually a little bit more than I need, so I probably won't use all of it. I just kind of work it through more on the ends than all over, but I just kind of lightly touch everything. But now I'm going to use, I use a T3 featherweight hair dryer. Typically I would dry my hair in sections. Like I would pull this section up and dry a bottom and then drop some more down, so on and so forth. But the way I've been doing my hair, I only need to like rough dry my hair, which is way easier. So I am gonna fast forward through this, but let's get started. And I use this on the medium heat and the high amount of air. So this is a low amount of air, that's a high amount of air. All right, so I did a rough dry, and as you noticed, I was lifting up a lot as I was drying, so I was kind of going like this. So now I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna put it on high, but I'm gonna use it on the low setting, boost my roots, and then I'm gonna use the Cool Blast. 
next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take my flat iron and plug it in. Um, I have one that is a Babyliss Pro one, I think it's called, Nano Titanium. I like it. I don't have to straighten my hair that often. So now I'm going to take a brush. I use, it's called a shine brush from the that wet brand. I go through and just kind of brush my hair out. Get rid of any additional tangles, kind of make sure everything's dry. Then I'm going to part it wherever I want to part it. And lately I've been doing it down the middle with this way I've been doing my hair. Now, if your hair is straight, and most days I don't even do this part, but I'm just going to show you all the way through if I'm doing my hair from start to finish. I also have a tendency to do not dry my hair when I do this. So I'm just taking this and I'm just running it through bigger sections. Um, I had a weird hair there. I only tend to do this when um, I've blown dry my hair because I feel like it's a little bit frizzier than I typically like it and I want those ends a little bit smoother. So I just keep grabbing sections and going through whatever way you're most comfortable with it. Um, you can also take the flat iron closer to your roots to give you a little bit of extra volume. Um, for me, I end up with a weird crimp in my hair when I do that. I don't know. If I try and take it up too high, it ends up giving me a weird lift. So I just do my ends and kind of run it through a couple times and just kind of keep going all the way around my head until my ends feel like they're pretty smooth and straight. There's no set way to do this. I always have more trouble on this side <laughs> than the other. Like I can't reach it the same. It's kind of funny. So I'm going to keep doing this and then I'll talk to you in a second. All right, so the front ones, I make sure they're a little bit more smooth. So I unplug this. I need to have my roots done. I need my roots touched up. I don't have grays, but I have like a mousy brown color and it tends to make my hair look like it's just, it looks like it's almost gray because my hair color is so warm. I am plugging in my curling iron. I am using a T3 and this is a one inch barrel. Um, any one inch barrel you like will work. Um, I'm getting my hairs out of it. I use this one because I love the settings. I only use this on heat setting number two on the dial. Um, using Monate products, I do not need a lot of heat. So what I do, you guys have been like, what have you been doing? How do you get all that volume? So I take my hair right about eyebrow level, okay? And I make this section here. I brush it out and kind of lift it up. And then I'm gonna take a teasing comb and I go through and just kind of pull a bunch down and then I kind of do this, okay? And yes, it looks huge right now, right? But that's all right, it's gonna all come together. And you don't have to do this part if you don't want it to be a little bit more full. I don't know why I just kind of decided to do this. The basis of this whole idea came from, the curling part came from, um, the sister studio from Jen, and then I do one in the back. And she, I learned this curling style from her, but then I kind of tweaked it to how it works for my hair, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay, that feels like I got too much hair back there. All right, so same thing in the back area. Now I'm not doing a whole lot of teasing, so it's like awkward, but okay. So my hair's straight with volume, you know, and so then I'm going to take sections, about a four inch size section. You don't want to go all the way down. So you see how I pulled that piece out there. Okay. So a good size section. I've got a weird hair here. There we go. Good size section. You're going to run through this. So this is what I typically do on like a day when my hair is a little bit smoother. Okay. And I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to curl it up pretty high and I'm going to leave a lot out, a lot. And I'm essentially only doing four of these all the way around. So I'll show you this as I go and I'm gonna fast forward it. But you see how that has that piece there. So again, a four inch piece, more than that actually on this one, but that's okay, there's no rhyme or reason to it. And you don't have to curl the underneath. Game changing guys, and four curls. I used to sit there and curl my hair all the way around. It was pretty time consuming. Um, so the straight hairs at the bottom are going to mix in with these pieces that have the straight ends down. And that's why I ran the flat iron through it to give me a little bit more straightness down at the end. You can use your curling iron to do that and just pull it through. So I'm gonna keep curling all the way around about four or five pieces on each side.
Um, so yeah, so any size section will work. You just keep going. And it depends on how much straightness you want. Like you can see right here, you can see all those straight pieces underneath, right? Well, that's all gonna work in. We are almost done here. So then when you're done, I let this side sit and cool. So I'm gonna start on this side. You can see that there's some straight pieces and some crazy curled pieces. I'm gonna take the Monate Rejuvene Rejuvenique Oil, two drops, and I start on this side, okay? I just mix that up in my hands and then I'm gonna sit here and kind of pull those curls through. And these ones too. All right, so this is what we have right now. And then I'm gonna show you how I get that little bit of extra like holding volume to it as the last part. So I have been, I use one of two things. I have the Orbe dry texturizing spray, which is fine. Everybody raves about that one, but I really like this and I found this from Jen as well. Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. Instant lasting volume and texture. So I've been using this. Then I take it and I kinda look at that, I mean, to give you an idea. It's crazy. But it gives you that, like look at the difference from that side to this side. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It's just how much volume and texture you want. You can comb it out after. I just kind of play with it until I like it. Sometimes I do a little bit of extra tease. Like I feel like this side needs a little bit of extra tease. And when you do that, when the volume stuff is in there, it gives you even more. So that is it. This is what I've been doing. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. This stuff smells amazing too, by the way, guys. There we go. Woo! But it's so easy and it doesn't even look like I didn't do all of those curls. Okay, this one fell. This curl fell. So I will just, if that happens, I just take it. And this works for like multiple days. So I would say the next day, I don't actually end up doing any curls at all. I don't add any curls the second day. The third day, generally, I can add a curl or two and it's ready to go. This one just doesn't want to stay at the bottom, that bottom of that curl. Let's do it a little bit more there. But yeah, this is what I have been doing that you guys have been loving and asking about. So that is everything. I will link all of the products down in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot believe how after all these years, I had no idea that it was that simple. I used to sit there curling every single strand all the time and I couldn't figure out how people got that messy, undone, like straight edge type of look. And now we know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have not yet subscribed to me, I do have a goal for 2019 to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love if you click that little red button right down below. And as always guys, if you have any questions on anything you saw me do here or any products or items you saw me talking about, please put a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.